don't know what is with this whole John McCain, old man, younger woman, neophyte thing that he's got going on. I don't know if he's threatened by having somebody that's actually qualified and experienced. But this phrase from Charlie Black about somebody learning, or Sarah Palin learning at the foot of the master for the next four years in case John McCain happens to live that long is <laughs> pretty insulting not only to John McCain, but to women. What I've done is I've turned the audio off on this particular uh, clip, and you can look and see what John McCain's body language is. He's like the old grandpa that's coming to see what his grandchild is doing. Can't trust her on his own, doesn't know what she might say, so he's got to kind of watch her, and you can see he just kind of wants to jump in. He's getting a little nervous, you know, about the questions being asked. He's not happy about it. He feels that he needs to be the protector because she can't handle this interview on her own. He kind of looks like he wants to sort of include her in it, and she's just sitting there, oh, yes, yes, in her little, you know, Fargo accent. And he's the one that's doing the talking and taking over because he's the experienced one that needs to make sure that he... Uh, does the talking for the neophyte. At one point he actually insults Katie Couric in this, but it's interesting to watch his body language. Notice that she doesn't appear to be just totally thrilled about it, or maybe she's a little bit scared of him. Maybe she doesn't quite know what she should say, but he looks now like, okay, you know, I've set it up, now I'm watching you, I'm going to put on my little creepy smile and See what it is that you're saying. Okay, that's very good. Thumbs up. You're doing the right thing. Katie Kirk goes back and asks her another question about the guy that asked the comment in the line and points out the fact that that was not gotcha journalism. It was actually a guy that was there. Notice that McCain had his little nod of approval. You're saying the right thing. Thank goodness you're doing what you should be doing. She has done an incredible job, and I'm so proud of the work that she's doing. Thank you. Now, who says that they're proud of the person that's supposed to be the vice president? You know, I'm really proud of her. She's doing a good job. That's the kind of thing that your parents say to you when they think that you've passed a test or you've done well. Okay, thanks, Gramps. <laughs> 